So everyone, we relax, hands on the belly. There's always the question, uh, which hand goes on the belly? For now, let's take the hand that's more comfortable. Uh, like I said, women have the stomach on the same side than men and the liver on the same side as men. So the idea that our yin-yang energies are inverted if you're a man or a woman, that's a misunderstanding of the reality, okay? The reality is that everything is flowing in the same way in both men or women, okay? Of course, a lot of Chinese people would argue with that. And uh, those who do it in the wrong way still get results. So I guess it doesn't really matter, okay? <laughs> when we get more advanced, there's stuff we, that is different from what I'm saying right now. But for now, we just we want to have that. No pressure, it's just there, okay? You pay attention, like you have learned how to pay attention with me. So it's not just breathing in the abdomen, it's go into the presence. Go there. The way that I've learned Qigong is to follow guidelines extremely flexible guidelines and not follow a very precise plan okay now let go of your hands there's a lot of qigong techniques you need to follow an extremely precise plan but this is not a qigong i'm going to teach you i'm going to teach you how i was taught okay and there's one specific application of qigong that i was taught which is incarnation qigong okay which is the ability to take higher energies, condense them and bring it in your body and push them in the world to have a more physical, grounded experience, okay? Now, if your knees can't follow, just don't go violent, don't go intense, go soft, okay? When I go boom and give a shock uh, on the ground, just don't give a shock on the ground. Follow your own health, okay? <coughs> First thing about this Qigong technique, okay, which is the uh, four direction impact okay you, we go left right up down push the energy in the ground oh that rhymes in English <laughs> in French it doesn't <laughs> so to teach you how to improvise and be creative in Qigong I need to teach you just a very uh, basic thing about the hand that, you know, the Chinese use uh, specific words how to describe the grabbing of the tail of the lizard and the pushing away of the ball on the left and the sand goes right. And you have tons of m metaphorical ways to describe uh, hitting the crane with the, uh, on the ground, then the lion steps in for the elephant to flap an ear. And it's just ways of describing movements, okay? So we're just going to not become Chinese today. It's, I mean... Chinese are okay with their method, it's just that you're not Chinese, so you wouldn't get it. <laughs> so, we're going to learn the paintbrush of the hand and the push and pull of the sand. Okay, so the paintbrush is your hand, fingers are not stretched, not tight, it's just in contact, okay? They're not split, they're in contact, the fingers are, are, are in contact like this, okay? And when you paint, the hair on the paper follows down. So you're going like this, and if you go like on the right, they would fall like this. So the idea is to just have just slowly and then fast, and just to get the idea that your hand is flown backwards to the direction, okay? Just so that when you're releasing chi, it, it does, it's, you're not pulling back energy, you're just releasing it, and then push again, okay? So uh, that's the paintbrush style. So then you do both hands identical. Just I will improvise. You just go there and then and separate it. Okay, and then for the elegance of the looks, but mostly for the chi to follow. <laughs> You don't go fast and then stop, or paintbrush, okay? <laughs> Unless at the end you want to splatter on the ground a bit of your paint, which is not the case. 
so you accelerate progressively and then slow down and end in elegance, okay? But it's not for the looks. It's for the feeling of that chi flowing evenly and naturally. When we want to have an impact, there will be a precise moment, and I'll show you, I'll tell you. Otherwise, you want to be soft, okay? So that's the paintbrush approach. And you finish splitting. So when you finish splitting, it's not palms out, like a lot of techniques do. It's good, palms out, but this is a paintbrush. So if you finish, you finish with the paintbrush, just your hand goes relax. Okay? That's the paintbrush hands. When you feel that you're just flowing in with the chi. And then there's the pushing and pulling of the sand, where your palm is facing the direction, but not facing the direction mechanically. Okay? We're talking about feeling that you're taking some kind of weight and you push it. Forget about the feet for now. You know, you see, I'm doing some kind of qigong stance and stuff like that. And but this is this, that comes with time. It doesn't really matter right now. What matters is how to let the energy flow and eventually how to push it and move it in various directions. Okay? Then your legs, you'll have it eventually. I'll show you the legs afterwards, but it's not dramatic. This is introduction to the improvisation, the improvisation of the grounding qigong. It's just to, to be free of the, the gazillion rules of how you should exactly do it. Okay? If you want to go further, they're going to have a strict plan, but this is not the goal now. The goal is to free you from systems and structures so you can be creative about your qigong. Okay? So, we'll do the uh, splitting of the sand pile. Pushing the sand is both hands at the same time. And you push it, and you up and down and all around, and you whoop in the back and it's over. Okay? Now, the splitting of the sand pile is just to do like the brush, but different direction. So, you're, take, you're you would take, taking the sand, splitting it up, join it again, and split them up and down. It's just you take close, bring it together, and then feel that you have it. You, you split it, okay? So combine and split your chi through the, the sandbag pushing technique, okay? So you got those, the brushes flow, compacting your chi and pushing out, and the brushes again, and bring some chi and push and out. So you play with this, Switching from brush to push alternatively, okay? It's improvisation. And you know, I have the legwork that you train with time, and you just start the legwork, just go down and up and left, right. Eventually, you'll have the entire <coughs> moving, especially as you do martial arts, you know? And it's okay. This is just for you to flow in with the chi, it's not to get any benefits yet. But if you don't know how to improvise with paint, uh, it doesn't work. You can't really paint. You know, if you need to have all these little numbers to fill the paint with, well, you're not creating paint. You're just, you know, it's going to be beautiful at the end, but you could have purchased a copy at the shop also. <laughs> and the goal is for you to be creative. And this is just a learning of the tool. Okay, so we're just going to do one or two minutes of those. Okay? And go slow and fast and slow and try to get the feeling of the energy. Remember the feeling of the energy. If you don't feel it, you're not trying hard enough. Okay? Sometimes it takes two years to feel energy. Five years. Try to come back your energy. Oh, let's do one. First, awaken your feeling of energy. Imagine that you're going wide. Bend your knees just a tad. Not too much. It's just not to be clocked in the back. And then imagine you got some energy here. You shake, you shake, and you're going to compress this in one tight ball. <laughs> Okay, like this, and then you hold it. Now you go like this, and you can you feel it? Okay, <laughs> Carlos, would you touch my ball? <laughs> you feel it? Okay, actually, you touch mine with yours, which is even more intimate. <laughs> Carlos is gay, by the way, so we have a lot of fun with that in the classroom. Okay, you feel it? Okay, it's just there. Now, what do you do with a ball like this? First, you can blow it and diffuse it. It just goes boom. And you'll actually feel it in your own face when it goes what? Did you feel it? 
Good. Now let's come pack another one. She goes, bloop. Oh, it blew it. Okay. Now there's the uh, the astronaut sip. I'm gonna, you know, I'm inviting the inventing these names. The astronaut sipping the chicken's egg floating. Okay. Let's say chi Chinese new tech <laughs> name. You take a ball, just shake. You have energy, you feel energy in between, you just compress, compress. Okay. Okay, give it a life. Just, just give it even more energy. And then you go, exhale. And you got this energy back in your system. It's buzzing, eh? <laughs> All right. So this is just to prepare you to get the feeling of energies. If you still don't feel energies, it's okay. Just... Shake them more. <laughs> Take some of the right laser gun technique. Okay, we, it's the it's the sword mudra, but laser gun. Ha! Now don't go two inches. Go twelve inches to feel it. Down to your elbow. Back to your hand. Ah, I want it. Lasers coming out of that hand. Wow. Okay, and then you relax, and with the left hand. And then you can feel it on your own arm. Okay, that's the goal of um, the practice to get more energy. A bit more chi in your system. Shake it off. We're gonna come back, okay? okay. Suck it in. Hold your breath. You just hold your breath one, two, three seconds just to allow the chi to overwhelm. And then you got this little heat whip. Okay? So that's techniques to get your chi running. Okay? <laughs> so now that we have this feeling of chi, you move around, you feel chi all around you, you have it. So you're gonna do the improvisation, okay? Just improvise. And push and pull and push and pull and let it drop and pay it back. And bring your arms back in the center of your abdomen and relax and stay there. It's not just breathing, it's paying attention to the chi, the energy. The goal is to feel it. Don't practice qigong for 10 years if you can't feel chi for 10 years. Practice feeling your energy, being more conscious, okay? Don't lock your knees back. <coughs> okay. Techniques to feel chi, techniques to improvise. Now we're going to guide the improvisation, saying it has to go left, it has to go right, it has to go up, it has to go down, okay? I'll give you an example. So, okay, the opening and closing. Always the same. You open. I'm not going to give details with that. Okay. Just going to say you pull your hands up about here and you pull them down there. The goal is to do one first wave of chi. You don't end up with your hands down. You end up with your hands pressing, apparently pressing down. Okay. So it's not like this. It's yeah. Okay. Then you're going to split even more. Go left, paintbrush left, you paintbrush right, you'll go down and upwards and make it fall. Okay, left and right. Once you're right, the goal is to go up, but it's Qigong, you can't just go directly, you have to swip. Okay. Left, right, back to the other. Okay, that gets your chi moving. That gets your energy moving. Okay, it's even more. So we cultivate. We cultivate the chi by doing various techniques like this, just to pay attention, and then we start to move. 
don't be afraid to move your legs. If you don't have the perfect technical Qigong leg step, it's okay, okay? What we want is to get you started with a powerful technique that will allow you to take Qi and sink it into your body and project it in the world, in the physical plane, uh, that will just get that energy running without having to go through 10 years of how to perfectly move your step when you're going like this, you know? So it's one step at a time. If you want to go to do real, like Tai Chi Chuan and, and Qigong of the Bagua Chan and stuff like that, it's wonderful. Then you'll learn correctly the, all the steps and every uh, articulation in your body should have been like this and not like that, you know? So you'll learn this, okay? <laughs> it's okay. Center, not too close, just, well, hand on the abdomen. We open with a first wave push down. Breathe out. Open more to the left. To the right. And up. And then when you go down, usually there's a breath. Okay, so breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. So it all, it's all about the movement. Okay, so... You got the two breaths, okay? So, in, out on the right, in up, out down. Okay, when it's down, you push pounds downwards because you want that energy to sink in, okay? So those who do the, the, the coming down, it's good. It's not a Qigong technique. What you want now is to come down and your hands are not touching the floor. You're just going down straight and they, Stop at the level of the waist or a bit lower, just at the base of chakra level, okay? Breathe and relax. Feel your chi. Look at it. We need to give it just a bit more time, just to relax. Feel your chi. Play with your hands. You're good. Just flow very gently. You feel more chi? All right. Now we add the impact to this. Now you'll just look, okay? Just look. The goal is that when you come down, it's not with both hands. There's one hand that stayed there. And you gave the impact. The impact is the back of the hand on the palm. The impact, push, regardless of direction. You just downwards. Okay. Gonna demonstrate again. You get the the impact, push down. And I usually go like this, but that's my training in Baba John and other things. Okay? And then you start another. Just yeah. it's you're already left, right? And relax. Alright? So you just flow very gently. And the more you go, the faster you go. Alright? Uh, I do the voice. If you do this with no practice, you're not going to have voice tomorrow. Just exhale. No sound, okay? Okay. It's a crescendo exhale. If you go... <laughs> what you want is... That sucks. Okay, it's not just the <laughs> Okay, you want to have this <laughs> Thank you You got that? Let's start slow Go left 
Breathe out and run. You'll go up. Left hand is down. <laughs> Left. Right. Up. <laughs> Left again. You alternate between brush and sand push. Attention to the chi. That's very good. Okay. I will leave to you the stretching part. This is not a class for you to do exactly how I do it. Stretch your spine. Make sure you stretch your spine. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. But then you do your own stuff. I go the Bagua method. Go on your left, breathe in and out. And then come back. Okay, and then I just do the other side. But do it anyway. If, if you do yoga or anything, you just want to have your spine twisted slightly to the left. Now when you do this, even in yoga, it's, it's now more known, when you twist your spine more than 180 degrees, you can have damage don't do that okay now they know but some you know the original yogis they didn't push the body to beyond certain limits if it was going to hinder the body or until the body was ready for this kind of torture okay um, for some people it's torture because it's too heavy it gets you your spine to be too far from uh, from its natural limits okay so if you have not been doing yoga for all your life don't push it okay it's going to just Hinder your spine. Okay. Then I like to have the backwards push from the yoga. And back. Okay. So we're not gonna do this a hundred times, it's just to get that spine slightly going, okay? Actually we could have done this before the first practice, which would have you know give us nice a bit of flexibility. The other one is quite simple, alright? The other one is quite simple. Get ready, get in place. Oh, am I? Yeah, please move on. We just want to be able to watch the video again afterwards. The other one is very simple. But if it hurts you, don't do it. Okay? So you open up. You want to be a bit wider than shoulders. Because you're going to... At this level, you make fists. And relax. That's it. So if you can't go down, you don't go down. Start slow. And the goal is to have the elbows between the knees eventually. But never to the point of straining. If you just go like this, you've pulled down the energy. Alright? Simple as that. You stop. Check your chi. Again. I've done it all wrong. I have to retry. She again. We only do this a few times and that's it. Just to get that that power down inside us. Then move on to the other aspect. 